How was everybody doing? Happy Tuesday. We got Emma over here. She's going for a little walk up the driveway. I need to get out and go for a little walk myself. I've been AIC, as my good friend Jeffrey Combs says, ass in chair all day long. I need to get out. I am not a chair guy, but I've been going nonstop on websites and content and marketing and strategizing and phone calls that is not my favorite pastime Shirley good to see you sweetheart what's up Joe good to see you so I need to get out here into nature I think the last time I was out here was like 8 o'clock this morning doing my meditation I need to get out and about and go for a little walk as you can see this driveway here is about 400 years 400 yards long and I can get out here and go for my exercise right here in the front yard I just love being outdoors. I can feel the wind picking up. We got our nephew in town here. Where's these puppies, Emma? Emma's one of those people, she'll just follow you around. One of those people, one of those dogs. Wherever de mom and dad are going, she's coming with us. I saw you just got a new puppy down there, Shirley. Congratulations. Joe, how's baseball season going, buddy? I'm, 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 in the, I'm on the hunt right now for a new softball team down here in Virginia. Hello, Georgia, good to see you. I'll try and cup it, this phone from this wind blowing so you guys don't get blown away by this wind. But uh, a lot, a lot of stuff going on right now. A lot of moving parts. I'm working on not burning out and not crashing. So I'm going 100 miles an hour on several different projects simultaneously. I will be traveling to Philadelphia to see my good friend Jeffrey this Saturday. If anybody's in the Philadelphia area, I'd love to see you. I will send you a directions to where we're going. I believe it's the Marriott. And uh, looking forward to connecting with Jeffrey and a lot of his amazing people up there. He's adorable. Thank you. Yeah, you got a good puppy down there. So I'd love to connect with you guys up in Philadelphia this week. The following week, I'm off to Connecticut. We're heading up to the farmhouse. We're heading down to the Next Level Leadership Summit. Anybody wants to come to the Next Level Leadership Summit, I just posted the pictures about it from last one. Love to see you there. Love to see you guys there. Here's Emma. She's still following me. So we'll be in Philadelphia this Friday. Here comes Thor. Look at him. He got left behind. He doesn't want to get left. We're coming, Thor. So we're going to be in Philadelphia this week. The following week, going to be in Stanford, Connecticut. Anybody wants to come to the Next Level Leadership Summit, reach out to me. We'll see if you qualify to get you in that room. And then we're going to go ahead and off to the house up in New Milford. We're going to go see my good friend up there just bought her house. And check out what she's got going on. I'm gonna show her what I got going on up there, what we got going on up there. Getting rid of the eye consciousness. I'm constantly checking myself. You guys hear me mentioning about eye. Make sure you call me out here on these videos. It's definitely a we game at this point. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do what, I, what we're about ready to do here without all of you guys, without all the people in the Rise is One group, without all those being called by assignment. Because in my meditation in the morning, I asked the universe to bring the people by assignment so we can rise as one to make a difference, to end the suffering. And that's what we're coming to do, Shirley. And Shirley knows this. Shirley's been to the house. She's been at the book launch. She's been watching this journey. She sees it all unfolding. Many of you are seeing it all unfold. And ultimately, we all are going to rise as one. And I know the people in the Rises One group, we share a little bit more intimate stuff in there. And what's happening and how fast it's happening, how I have not burnt out and crashed at this point after going 100 miles an hour and all these multiple projects going on simultaneously. I'm still clear. I'm still focused. I'm still centered because I know what's at risk. I know who's going to pay the price, Jerry. And Jerry's one of those guys who keeps showing up. He's going to the gym. He's out there with his nieces doing all the, the things that we're supposed to do. Live in peace absolutely live in peace we have plenty of time to rest in peace we've talked about this in the past with the future is now how fast it's going to go these next 10 years we've been talking about this the last couple of facebook lives i'm going to start sharing some of those insights what i'm downloading i had a little bit of a conversation with a guy last night talking about it that i listened to as i was going to bed last night and man i just knocked out because i've been going non-stop Getting all these prizes taken care of. Look at these guys all happy. That's how you're supposed to be, guys. See this, that face right there? That's how we're supposed to be. Just smiling and happy, joyous, not worrying what people are saying about you. Just going out doing you. Because you are enough. You have enough. Everything that you requires within you, keep telling yourself those things. And yes, it's going to be life-changing. That's why I'm so excited to show I've been watching your journey and all these amazing people that are showing up by assignment. 
What's up, Kenneth? Good to see you. I connected with Kenneth. I've known Kenneth probably about 26 years now. Kenneth, correct me if I'm wrong. I remember these guys when they were about a year, year and a half years old. They are my neighbors. My dogs used to chase them up the hill. They'd run back down the hill. They'd run back up the hill. It was all snowy and wintertime in the backyard. And they are just some of the greatest people I've ever met in my life. The whole family. Two brothers, two sisters, the mom, the dad are just like... That's how we're supposed to live. That's how it was when I grew up. We always took care of our neighbors. I used to go fishing, bring them fish, go over there and hang out with them. So I got a chance to visit with them. We were home, Kathy and I, for Christmas. And it was just so nice to reconnect and just feel the unconditional love that pours out of that family. And I, I love to be around that energy because it's almost like going in for a booster shot. You're going for a booster shot of love. And then people talk about this when they see the white light when they pass away. They say, I don't want to come back. I want to stay here. And the voices say, no, you have to go back. You, you can't stay here. It's not your time yet. And that's why so many of those people don't want to come back because they, they can feel that. And that's why I feel when I go over and I visit with the Crouches. They have that unconditional family, family love and their, their bond is so tight. And they got some amazing stories we'll be sharing with you here in the very near future. So I did connect with your brother the other day, Ken. I had a nice phone conversation with him. So I'm, I remember in church in St. Joe's back in Denbury, probably about five or six years ago, I was down there with my wife and they were in church. I said, we're going to be doing something in the future. I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to do something in the future. And I said the same thing to Eddie George when we were down the New York Stock Exchange not too long ago. I looked him right in his eyes and said, I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to do something together because this is an impossible game to do alone. So the message today is be aware of your burnout. If you're going 100 miles an hour, just bring awareness around that. You don't have to worry about stopping and, and super resting. Just slow down enough to being awareness to understand where you are. And I've, I've been at this so long now, I've understand that. Because I have gone up, I've gone down. Like the sine wave, back when I used to be in the military, I used to do electronics. They talk about the sine waves and, and, and up and down of the sine wave. And ultimately, we cannot be on this super steady plane. We go high, we go low. But what we want to do is bring that up to a medium benchmark where you only go like this. Stay in between the sine wave. Don't go all the way to the top. Don't go all the way to the bottom. That's what causes stress on the body. That's the message of the day. Keep the stress out of your body. Be awareness to your, when you're going to get ready to burn out, to slow down. But do not stop. Keep showing up, guys. They have not seen nothing yet. When it's all said and done together, we're going to rise this one and keep showing up.